Howdy y'all from a very wet Missouri. Started raining here Sunday night. And it really hadn't quit since. Got flood warnings everywhere. Rivers coming out their banks. That's pretty crazy. Supposed to rain all day tomorrow. And I think maybe even Thursday too. <laughs> we are soggy, soggy, soggy. So, I've been thinking a lot about Jay's video from uh, several weeks ago about revolting against technology. And it's a subject very near and dear to my own heart, and I could say a lot about it. But I've been holding off and thinking about it, and I finally come to the conclusion I wanted to say a little something about it. Because, uh, you know, my beloved and I, we, we strive to we strive to be very judicious in our use of technology. And uh, I came up with a simple set of guidelines to kind of help guide me in my use of technology. And well, I thought, you know, I'll share those guidelines I have. My first rule for technology is that it has to serve me more than I serve it. I am very wary of any technology that, for which I have to spend more time away from home earning money to maintain than, than it benefits me, if you know what I mean. Uh, there's the one thing that I want in my life is to be able to stay at home with my beloved and uh, be at home. And... Uh, any technology that I use that requires me to, to leave home to earn money had better be really worth it. The second criteria I have for technology is that I have to know, I have to know that I can live without it. You know, a lot of people a lot of people have forgotten how to live without our technology. My favorite story, one of my favorite stories, is uh, this guy in Tulsa a couple of years back wrote a letter to the editor. He was upset that his power had been out for several days and all the food in his fridge rotted, went bad. But the reason that his food went bad was because the reason his power was out was because there was an ice storm. So everything outside his door was covered in ice, yet he allowed the food in his fridge to rot. That just almost defies belief to me, you know. And the third thing, my third criteria that I have so far, is that there has to be more of a reason to it than simply, you know, a labor-saving device. Because, you know, our bodies were meant to work. And, uh, you know, I don't have a, a terribly physically demanding job, but, uh, you know, I like to know that my body's healthy and fit and strong, and I just, I cannot, you know, now there are always, there are always exceptions to the rules, but for the most part, I just cannot fathom 
spending all this money to do to buy a machine to do my work for me and then going out and spending more money to exercise my body when if I had just done the labor myself manually I would have gotten all the exercise that I needed <laughs> so those are my three criteria for technology. Now I'm sure Jay was talking more about you know, Facebook and email and computers and stuff, but it, you know, it applies a little bit. Obviously we use the internet and, you know, YouTube and it's a it's a it's our major source of entertainment, but which serves its own purpose, you know. Well, anyway, I'm going to sign off for now. Enjoy the rest of my smoke, and I'm going to try not to float away. I hope you all are doing well. And we'll be seeing you again soon. Bye now.